Hey guys, welcome to game one between Ninja Ob and, or Ninjo Ob and Agistol. Agistol, this might be a little bit hard to differentiate on the mini map, but Agistol starting as the pink Zerg bottom left hand corner. Upper left hand corner, we have Ninja Ob, Ninjo Ob, I believe this is on Polypoid. I should have looked at the map a little bit more carefully when I was going into this. It is a four player map. And I'm going to say Agistol up to this point, he's kind of my favorite to win this overall. His build orders have been a little bit messy. But honestly, it just seems like he knows how to win. He seems to be able to pull these situations out, whatever he's doing, to push through and make it happen. But he's going up against a very heads up opponent in Ninja Ob. Ninja Ob. Ninja Ob, not just showing that he can execute a build order well, but showing that he just adjusts very, very well to what his opponent's doing. Supply Depot in that back corner rather than a seal on his front door. Overlord is heading to that bottom right-hand corner first. I am. I will say this. I am so glad that I'm getting to, to cast a ZVT. Really wanted to, to cast one of these, and it's been a bit. It's been a bit. It's been a minute. Extractor and Spawning Pool on, I think, 11 in this instance, which suggests Ninja Ob is in fact opting for a Zergling heavy opening, perhaps with Zergling speed. Maybe even two hatch play. We'll see what this turns into. Barracks is building in the upper left hand corner. It looks like Ninjo is going to get this initial SCV scout bumping into the Ursodon on his way across. And so effectively the Zerglings are going to provide the scouting. The big indicator is whether these Zerg, these Zerg, whether these drones Stay on gas, which suggests we'll see Zergling into two hatch play, or if they're if they pull off once there's a hundred. And Ninjo Ob is right here to see that maneuver. Yep, looks like they're pulling off on hundred, so it's just gonna be Zergling speed. Perhaps into a hatchery to follow. At the natural expansion. Full complement of six Zerglings being produced. And barracks being produced. Fortunately for Agistol, he is also scouting. Which makes sense. He sent his overlord to the right hand side of the map, so. The drone needs to go to the upper left. Should be able to get up in there. Bunker being placed. Huh. Bunker being placed at the low side natural expansion. Let's see if that drone goes in and does a little bit of harassment. Zergling's on the way. Speed is upgrading. And I'm almost wondering with this here and all of these SCVs there to linebacker. Two things. One, can the ramp be held? And two... Does Agistol cancel that metabolic speed boost? Two Marines now in. And Agistol setting up to go ahead and take a quick command center to follow this up. Speed was not canceled. Now, if you're going to invest in speed and continue to produce Zerglings, the one thing you do want to do is take care of that SCV scout so it can't continue to spot the amount of Zerglings you're producing. And it looks like Agistol is going ahead and plopping down a hatchery. Got 10 Zerglings at the natural. Is he going to go for it? Pushing in. SCVs are in the way. Going to go the far way around. And SCVs are there to blockade the ramp. Ninjob. Still able to get through. At least with one Zergling. Continuing to do surround. Able to kill some more. And five Zerglings getting through. This is Agistol. He seems to make things happen. And this amount of Zerglings against this amount of Marines. Depending on how they're microed. Can be a huge threat. One Marine left. One Marine. One Zergling left alive. Are more Zerglings going to be produced? Does not look like it. I don't know that there's the drones to do it. Or, sorry, the larva to do it. No, not enough larva. Another Marine taken down. And that SCV desperately trying to get another barracks up. But it's going to get taken out. And this is going to disrupt more mining for Ninjob. So, yes, he got that command center down fairly rapidly. But this, this cadre of Zerglings has gotten work done. Now it might want to go ahead and stay back. Try to regen a little bit of health. Does have speed, keep in mind, to run out of these corners. I love that supply depot blockade. Getting on top. Taking about half health from that Marine. This Supply Depot placement right here, where the Zergling could not pass behind that mineral line, really saved Ninja Ob a lot of headache. And respecting the Zergling threat, Ninja Ob planting these SCVs and just hold positioning them for the moment. And this is SCVs that are not mining. Agistil's natural expansion is up, and he is in fact advancing to Lair. Has that Hydralis den down, so it looks like we're going to see a Lurker follow-up. Needs to take out that SCV, though. Oh, man. Ninjo Ob sees it, though. 
sees the Hydro Stem. Did he see the Lair? That'll be the question. Lurker Aspect upgrading. This is going to be two hatch Lurker. Looking for an Engineering Bay. We do have an Academy being built. I don't see an Engineering Bay. Kakaru, it looked like it was killed on the front. That might... I'm wondering if that's bad luck or not. I'm curious on map statistics when you kill the critters on the map as to whether or not you win that game. Is it bad karma? I don't know. Zerglings doing an end around, getting into that SCV line, drawing more attention from Ninja Ob. I do not, again, still just an academy. So we'll see Compsat in place. And a Supply Depot blockade. But the thing is, is you only have two Compsat. And he's upgrading Stim first. Hydralisk's on the way to upgrade Lurker. This could be a disaster for Ninja Ob. Like I said, Agisol, okay, there's the, the Compsat station. Agisol, though, knows how to win these matches. He just finds ways. Waiting for the, the first handful of Lurkers to morph in. Marines moving across with this first grouping of Medics, though. The Hydralisks need to, out of, wow, need to get out of here. They're getting hunted down. So Ninja Ob realizing, okay, Agistil, you're going to keep pouring Zerglings into my natural. More Zerglings moving up. It looks like the Lurkers are morphing here. Brilliantly drawing a lot of this defensive line out to the right as this grouping of Lurkers and Zerglings might be able to sneak in underneath. I think that bunker's empty. This is disastrous. Okay, there, there is a Compsat station. Critically. But still no latent detection otherwise. And with a good grouping of hold position Lurkers, might be able to get it done. Agistol pushing up. Lurkers planted. Medic Marine backing off. One Compsat. That might be a wasted Compsat, honestly, with the Zerglings engaging at their position. Ninja... Ninja Ob having difficulty engaging this. Still two medics alive, but only five marines otherwise. They are backing up. Missile turret is planting in that forward position, but honestly, I don't know that there's enough to defend the rest of this. Zerglings pushing up with the lurkers. That turret is exposed. There's only three marines to try to defend it, and that is not a good... That's not good odds against five lurkers. That, sunk, that second bunker is not going to stand. That turret's been taken out. Compsat has already been expended. The lurkers can just walk up and burrow on this natural. And when you have lurkers and zerglings flooding your natural expansion like this, second comp set, lurker just backing out out of it. Not even one lurker taken out from this. Sorry, second lurker taking some damage, but still, yeah, not taken out. The lurker slowly making their way forward. One lurker taken out, two lurkers taken down, but there's still three standing. Sorry, still two standing. And Ninja Ob has more problems. More Zerglings making their way forward. Good second comps at one Lurker remaining. Four kills on that, but not a lot of Zerglings otherwise. And the Zerglings able to push up and take out the remaining Marines. Ninja Ob's natural expansion completely flooded. Desperately trying to get another turret up, but GG's there. Like I said, Agistil knows how to win games. And that is what counts at the end of the day. GG. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.